Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize para-aminoazobenzene from diazoaminobenzene. For this synthesis you will need 2.5 grams of diazoaminobenzene, 7 grams of aniline, 1.25 grams of aniline hydrochloride and 7.5 milliliters of glacial acetic acid. A 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask was placed in a crystallizing dish containing water on a hot plate stirrer. A stirring bar was also placed inside. A funnel was placed on top and 2.5 grams of diazoaminobenzene was transferred to it. Diazoaminobenzene was synthesized in one of my previous videos and link to that is given in the description. As you can see due to the larger crystal size the diazoaminobenzene got stuck in the funnel and I had to use a spatula to poke it and push it down into the flask. Once it is all in, 7 grams of freshly distilled aniline was transferred to the flask. As you can see very clearly, all those fluffy crystals very quickly disappears as it dissolves in aniline. Now with the steering turned on, 1.25 grams of aniline hydrochloride was added to the flask. It was prepared very easily by adding some aniline to cold concentrated hydrochloric acid which immediately precipitates out as white colored aniline hydrochloride. The temperature of the water bath is maintained at 40 to 45 degrees Celsius for around 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, add a solution of equal volumes of glacial acetic acid and water, 7.5 ml each. Now allow the mixture to stand for some time in refrigerator. Now let us see what is happening here. Here we see diazoamino-amino-azo rearrangement. First, the diazoaminobenzene dissociates to benzene, diazonium chloride and aniline. This would only take place if there is an equilibrium involving the diazoamino compound, acid and phenyl diazonium chloride. Then the coupling between the phenyl diazonium ion and the para position of the aniline takes place under weakly acidic condition. After 2 hours we take it out of the fridge and we got some cool looking yellow orange precipitate and that is the para amino -SO benzene. The crude product was transferred to a Buchner funnel washed with very little ice cold water and was dried. This is the crude product after drying. The product was recrystallized from 96% ethanol. On cooling. Beautiful crystals of para amino benzene is formed, which is filtered and dried. This is the final product. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos.